Good evening all. Well now here's a thing. After the dismal failure that was my tart tin capacitor, I now have a new version which seems to be a resounding success. This is my business card box capacitor. It's just simply two strips of tin foil uh, running down into the small gap between a business card inner box and a business card outer box uh, to make a thin um, space. Another piece of tin foil the other side of the separator which is just a bit of cloth and the gel, I use the after sun gel on this one and this one seems to work. It has gone a bit negative at the moment but um, this is on DC volts, I'm measuring it, minus 28 millivolts. If I blip that up to um, ohms just for a moment and then blip it back I've got 360 millivolts across my capacitor and it holds for a reasonable period of time. Fantastic! Now I get the impression that there may be a bit of leakage here because I know that the millivolt range on this meter has an incredibly high resistance so the capacitor appears that it may be discharging kind of internally, it's hard to tell. But let's discharge it completely by just shorting out these connections. So almost no millivolts at all. Charge it back up by putting this on ohms. This puts out about, I don't know, 0.5 or 0.6 volts. And we're back up to uh, 370 millivolts. And it holds. And it doesn't appear to be like a battery because as I say if I short this out then it just sits there at a low voltage okay that's climbing up a bit but I don't think that'll go very far yeah just four millivolts charge it up 360 millivolts it works my mark II capacitor two strips of tin foil what we call tin foil of course it's not it's aluminium foil, either side of a piece of cloth with the after sun gel uh, electrolyte. You can see the gel just kind of climbing up the side of the box. I put a heavy weight in there initially but it doesn't seem to need the heavy weight. So that works brilliantly. That's creeping down again. I don't quite know whether that's the meter. I suppose I could disconnect the meter at about 210. Now the meter's just holding that voltage, that's an irrelevant voltage. And then I'll reconnect it to see whether the capacitor's actually discharging itself. So we'll see whether this comes back at 210 or... Yeah, that's dropped to 150. So it does look like the capacitor's discharging internally. I'm not quite sure why that is. But there's something even better if I switch this meter to capacitance, watch what happens. It takes a while for large capacitances to register. I've made myself a 62 microfarad capacitor. Awesome! Now, of course, this isn't a super capacitor yet because the surface area of the aluminium foil is quite small. But what I can do now is go on, build another one of these business card box capacitors. You just take the inside bit and turn it round and then everything gets sandwiched between the, the two layers in there. Uh, business card box, you'll need some cloth, you'll need some tin foil, which as I say is aluminium, and some after sun gel. And that's it. Now, of course, for a supercapacitor, it will need the addition of the activated carbon. So that's my next step. Wow, it's now 70 microfarads. Even better. Now, I determined the other day that um, when this thing is in capacitance mode, it's actually putting up to 800 millivolts across this capacitor. So if I flip it around to volts, we should see that. There's the 800 millivolts, 0.8 volts. That drops away fairly rapidly. This meter in volt mode 
has a bit of a resistance in millivolt mode where it's just changed to now less so but this is still falling down possibly slower because I think the digit shifted over but to my mind that's discharging too quickly for a 64 microfarad or now a 70 microfarad capacitor because here's a 100 microfarad 50 volt capacitor and if I charge that up to the approximate uh, 400 millivolts that is not dropping at all in fact it's climbing now as I say when this meters in the millivolt range it has a very high resistance across the probes across the connections and that simply isn't falling at all it will do in the long term but if this capacitor is genuinely a similar value 60 70 microfarads and this is 100 microfarads let's just check that this meter does take a while to register higher value capacitors it only goes up to 100 microfarads this is 96.3 that'll be higher now of course the voltage because as I say it puts out 0.8 volts when measuring capacitors this capacitor is holding its voltage really quite well whereas my homemade one isn't as good nevertheless it's not bad is it is that negative I think that was negative and that's positive uh, 50 millivolts let's charge it up up she goes 350 millivolts yay so I'm just wondering whether the uh, tart tin capacitor this one here failed because this is steel I mean you can tell that from the fact that these magnets stick to it I don't know what it's coated in maybe this is chrome or I doubt it's stainless steel coating I don't know whether you can coat steel with stainless steel but anyway whatever happened it worked very briefly once and then never worked again so I will be abandoning tart tins and switching to the new business card box capacitor which I think has got real promise I mean a really big advantage with this is that you can see what's going on I mean I can see whether this is degrading and going a nasty color I mean, I suppose I could put two and a half volts through this and make it go all brown but I'm not really motivated to do that because my capacitor is working really well so yeah you can see into it it's extremely simple um, the electrolyte can sort of rise up in this gap on the sides as a bit of an overspill it's just got so many things going for it now on this one I did use the after sun gel so I suppose I really ought to make another one with the face wash gel just to see whether any gel will do or whether you do need a very specific kind of gel so maybe I'll do that but um, no, I'm happy with my new capacitor it's great how many microfarads is it now oh we're back to 63 excellent and so as I say the next step will be to put in the uh, activated carbon granules uh, somehow sort of get them touching the aluminium um, between the aluminium and the cloth so uh, one set of granules on the top side here and another set underneath the cloth but on top of the uh, second set of foil once those granules are in there this should go from being a capacitor to a super capacitor watch this space cheerio